Big developments on FPUC UI and PUA as all eyes are on the president to do another round of LWA by executive orders. This recording is made at about 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and certainly things could change by then. You know, there's always a twist and turn when it comes to Steve and Nancy. But for now, all eyes are on the president to do it again, to do what he did with LWA, fix it made perhaps even better, get that money out. He has the money. The only question is when. This is Afternoons LA Light. <laughs> Hey, good afternoon, everybody. This is Afternoon's LA Light. I'm bringing back an old school look that the channel loved back in the day, back in May. It's bitterly hot today, but it's not as hot as it is in Washington. As negotiations between Steve and Nancy seem to have really fallen apart, anything could change, certainly after the time of this recording, and but, after, but before this recording is uploaded. But let me tell you what's going on in this video. In this video, I'll be going over why the present there really seems to be a push to get things fixed by executive order amidst a real fallout of events in the last 24 hours. Second, I'll be going over where the numbers would land with this president and what you could see and how long you could get this money. Third, I'll go over the issue of escalated benefits, which I haven't gone over in about a week, which is something that ultimately could give you a lot more money than anything this channel is covering on a regular basis. It's more than escalate. It's more than a stimulus check. It's more than FPUC. It's a lot of money, and I want to ensure that you've considered whether or not you qualify for that. So much to do, so much, so little, little time, but this is all money that could be coming to you, so this is incredibly great news. If you've not subscribed to this channel, go to the front of this channel and subscribe. Uh, boy, I'm trying to get you money left and right, because I understand there's someone that's not trying to get you money. So my job is to get you fine funds, get you those funds that you need in your bank account that is, are out there, that are not, you know... <laughs> in $12 ice cream that no one sees. Also like this video because we all are here community with the Purple Power trying to get things done together. All right, let me get to the breaking news as short minutes ago. At the time of this recording, there is no deal. There is no deal between Steve and Nancy and that ultimately anyone that's sitting on the internet and just making recordings about what Nancy's bill says and what Steve's bill says is must of wasting everyone's time because there's no deal. For a deal to hatch, it has to go through four processes and we're not even past process step number one. Step number one would be a deal between Steve and Nancy. There has to be a deal before, between Steve and Nancy to even go to step number two. Well, the Temple of Doom wants to go right to step number two while skipping up step number one from being done. She's going to introduce on the House floor tonight her horrible $2.2 trillion bill. It's... I want to make this very clear to you. This is not some new bill. This is the same amount and the same proposal she has had since the month of July. This is the unemployment video. This is the unemployment video. And in July, Steve Mnuchin, source data, had offered Nancy Pelosi $400 a week for FPC. She rejected it. It's now 10 weeks later. <laughs> so, yeah, you would have had $4,000 in your bank account, but Nancy Pelosi didn't want you to have that. She wanted you to hold out for $600 a week, which no one gave you. And still no one's given you. So on the House floor tonight, she will introduce a bill that I have $600 a week in it that no one wants to give you other than herself. Uh, and we'll see what happens, but we really don't care. Step number three is the Senate has to approve it. Well, the Senate's not going to approve $600 a week. The Senate's not going to approve $2.2 trillion a week. We already know this. This is, not, this is like Captain Obvious. It's, so her whatever antics she wants to do for the purposes of, you know, making a political commercial... Come buy my ice cream for twelve dollars, and here's my what I did on a Thursday night on the House floor. Yes, you know, maybe she wants to debut a new scarf for Jimmy. I just, I just don't know what the purpose of all this is. And finally, four, the president has to sign. Well, the president's not going to sign two point two trillion. So let's get to really stuff that doesn't matter, <laughs> which is money, money that's out there for you that you're entitled to. First, I'm going to go over the money that's possible coming your way. And second, I'm going to go over the money that is available for you to get right today. First, the money that is possible to come to you is FPUC 2.0, or you can call it LWA 2.0 by executive order. This channel has been detailing for upwards of several weeks that the president has the money, has the authority, 
has the agency and has the will and wishes to do another round of LWA or FPC 2.0. How does this work? Well, there's a several, there are two ways to do it. First, he has the money sitting around. This is not the $300 billion that the president identified. There's additional 200 to $300 million that I have identified. This is not source data, this is fact data, that had been in a series of news reports that said this agency expired from CARES Act 1, it didn't use this amount of money. This agency expired from CARES Act 1, it didn't use this amount of money. The president can take that money and repurpose it. The amount of money is somewhere between 200 and 300 billion dollars. He can repurpose that money. And where would the money go repurpose to? Well, for example, he could send it over to FEMA. And then FEMA could just say, hey states, I got some more money. Uh, come and apply for some more weeks of LWA. As simple as that doesn't even have to do anything else doesn't have to do an executive order doesn't even have to doesn't even have to you know have a press conference LW, FEMA can just say we found some additional funding um, we're going to do some more LWA come and apply done it's as simple as that he already has an executive order on the file for LWA and so there's no particular need to do another executive order now second possibility is he could do another executive order to change how LWA is phrased and some of you would like that those of you who did not qualify for the first round of LWA because of the $100 threshold um, do I think he's gonna do this this is my opinion my opinion is I don't think he would revise his LWA executive order he has something it's there I mean why why change it it hasn't been challenged in the court of law just go with it and just repurpose money he's allowed to repurpose money so what are they gonna do challenge the repurpose of money in a court of law no, they're not gonna do that so this would literally be solved in a matter of 10 seconds it's just not quite clear why that 10 seconds has not occurred yet today all right so that's the incredible great news the second thing that you need to understand is the amount and the retroactiveness of anything executive order it's highly likely that uh, way the way that LWA one went, that it would be retroactive to when LWA 1.0 expired, because the way that it worked the first time around for LWA is states had to go to FEMA and say, I, "I want some money." FEMA, okay, FEMA, FEMA's like, "Oh, here you go, here's some money," and then the states got the money. They're like, "Okay, uh, citizen, the resident, this is the money for this week to this week, and this is the money for this week to this week." Well, states will understand that they stopped on a particular week and they didn't give LWA for the next week, so they would highly likely just start at where they stopped and go forward. They wouldn't just start in the middle of like October. That doesn't make any sense. That's not how states usually operate. They just don't, they don't usually do things like that. States generally do retroactive-ish things. All right, so that's incredibly great news. Finally, the last of the amount. Would it be $300 a week again? Probably. Yeah, I, I would probably, this is, this is opinion. I believe it would be $300 a week. All right, let me turn to what Steve Mnuchin did this week. He said, I'm supporting the Problem Solvers Bill. He came a little bit higher than the Problem Solvers Bill. That's fact. Source, what were the numbers? We don't know. We literally were never given briefing or seen a copy of Mnuchin's proposal. So we don't know if Mnuchin literally did to the penny exactly what the Problem Solvers did about FPUC, which I presume he did. The president said he would support the problem solvers bill. So the problem solvers were 450 a week for eight weeks and then six weeks, five weeks at 600, but with a little bit more complex calculation. Did Benushin change off of that? There's no indication that he did, but there's no indication exactly where his number was. Um, now, let's turn to the second subject, which is money that's there for you now. <laughs> All that to now was money that you can get. Let's talk about money that you that is available for you to get right now. The first thing I need you to understand is, have you gone and, and applied for UI or PUA? If you've gotten yourself eligible, good. The next question is, what was your date of impact? If you were impacted by COVID-19 as soon as the pandemic lockdown started in March, I hope that your date of certification is March. If it's not, you've messed up. And you may have to contact your unemployment office of your state and fix it. Because ultimately, you're allowed benefits back to the date at which you're impacted. Now, let's say you did do it right. So that would mean you get weeks of benefits continuing forward into the, into the present. It's important to understand that if you were unemployed, then employed, then unemployed, that's fine. Just have to tell them, hey, I'm now employed. I don't get, 
I don't get benefits this week. But when you get unemployed again, you're entitled to get those benefits as well. And viewers sometimes have asked me, well, I was unemployed for four months because of this pandemic, but then have a job now. Do I get benefits for those weeks when I was unemployed? Absolutely. So what you need to do is certify for those benefits. If you haven't, and I know there's a lot of viewers that haven't, if you've not certified for those weeks in which you were unemployed, or in the case of FPU, excuse me, in case of PUA, you had reduced number of hours. Remember, PUA only requires a reduced number of hours. Does not require all the. Does not require complete unemployment. Then go certify. And what are you going to get? You're going to get six hundred dollars a week. Yeah, the way this pro, the way this all works is that you're still getting six hundred dollars a week for FPUC 1.0 from any week that you certify for impact from March to late July. That's even if you're still certifying for it today for something that happened back in June, for example. Yes, that's yours. So then when you get to late July and FPUC 1.0 expires, then you're on to LWA. You don't have to apply for LWA. Your state does it for you. So what you need to do is make sure you got your certifications in for LWA and you'll get LWA. Most states paid six weeks of LWA. I know some states are different. This is not the video for that. Um, but you'll get $300 a week going forward. It's a lot of money. Now, let's do escalated benefits. Oh, before I get to escalated benefits, let me say this one point. I get this on a regular basis, and I've done this recording a couple times. It's really helped people. If you've applied and you're waiting for some check in the mail and it says pending or processing and you have not gotten it, I don't know when it's coming. But all I've told viewers is stay patient, stay patient, stay patient, stay patient. It's coming. So long as it doesn't say rejected or denied, it's coming. And it does come. And I've seen some really nice comments from viewers that say, hey, thank you for st telling me to stay calm. Thank you for telling me <clears throat> to stay patient. It eventually came. So that's all great news. All right, let's turn <clears throat> to um, enhanced unemployment benefits, which is absolutely categorically incredible. This is a lot of money. <laughs> it's a lot of money. Uh, so if you've not done this, Lord, go get it. What is escalated benefits? Escalated benefits is anything above the base level entry amount of benefits per week. When you start a, an unemployment claim, whether it's PUA or UI, uh, you start your state's unemployment base level, which can be about 167, 180, something like that, 95. You start at that base level per week. Well, that's for people who make very, 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 very little money. Uh, how about if you made, a, you know, a few dollars last year, then you qualify for something that's called escalated benefit. I mean, it's higher. What's maximum benefits? Maximum benefits means the maximum amount per week you can get. Now, remember, I'm talking about the benefits. I'm not talking about FPUC. This is the amount that FPUC goes on top of. So I'm not talking about, there's no change to FPUC. There's no change to $600. There's no change to LWA, $300. This is the amount that they're going on top of. The important thing to understand with escalated benefits is it's a lot of money and it can come to you very quickly. And so if you made over $30,000 gross rev 2019, what you would basically do is you would get that tax return from 2019, convert it to PDF, put it on your computer. If you need to convert it to PDF, there's some online PDF conversion websites. Put it on your computer, write a letter to your unemployment office on your computer, say, hi, here I am. Uh, I made this amount of money in 2019, gross rev. Do I qualify for more weekly benefits? Here's my tax return, thank you so much. Be very professional, be very kind, be very simple. Don't say that I sent you. Don't say the guy in the blue shirt with the, <laughs> with the Ed Hardy tank top underneath said, hey, you know, write them a letter. No, just, you know, just write the letter yourself. But that's basically what you would say. And they'll review it and they'll get back to you. Now understand if you made about $30,000 or more per year last year, you may qualify for not just escalate benefits, but maximum benefits. The full amount of the benefits of your state, which if you do the math, it's a lot of money. If we're talking about you've been on benefits since the start of pandemic and we're at week, what, 20 or week, you know, 15 times $200 a week, yeah, it's a couple thousand dollars. It's it's more than a stimulus check. It's a couple stimulus checks. So that could be coming to you. 
the biggest problem I always had from viewers, which I've done this video <laughs> of numerous times since April 25th, where viewers are saying, hey, how do I send the letter? Well, and this would usually come up in the context of two conversations. One, where I say, when you're finished with the letter, go to your state's unemployment website, sign into the portal, and upload the letter in the portal. And they would send, them, they would put in the comments, which I'm going to get to in a second, they'd say, oh, we don't have that on our state's unemployment website. There's no uploaded. They don't want to see anything from me. Uh, so how do I contact them? And this would come up in the context of California back in April and May of this channel. And I would say, hey, um, send it by priority mail. Just go to the post office and spay, spend the $8, $5, and send it by priority mail. And then call them in a couple days and say, hey, did you get my letter? And there you go. Basically, they generally don't deny it because there's no basis to deny it. If you made the amount of money, then you made the amount of money. It is just a waiting time. And ultimately, you'll get the money if you qualify. And it'll be thousands and thousands of dollars. It'll be more than a stimulus check and it'll be more than, you know, anything that the Temple Doom is holding out for you. Let me answer some of your 700 questions from yesterday. They're absolutely incredible. Daily gains, we're hurting, helping the American people now or leave office. James, maybe Nancy needs to weed some ice cream. Katie, Trump will need to sign an executive order. Denny Johnson, who's always the first to sign on to this channel. I love it. Every time a video goes live, he's there. I love it. She's trying to make promises with raises long as they stand behind her, follow her lead, will her lead in one-way tickets for them to continue their period. Suzette Walker. Like I said in time before, remove Nancy Pelosi for the House seat. Amen. Uh, Linda Blackburn. Why aren't the Democrats going around Nancy Pelosi? They don't support her. I just, you know, it's a spineless group of people. We've seen them stand up, then they back off. Stand up, then they back off. It's just, uh, it's, I don't know. Uh, Andrew Schaefer. Purple Power needs to vote all those bums out. Amen. Tracy, good evening, LA from New York and my Purple Power family. Good evening. Michael Whelan, Nancy gives into 450. Steve gives into retro pay for people who need it. Nancy stops putting in pork or weed. Get it done, people. If only they would be that simple. I love that, Michael Whelan, but they're just not. You got to understand that we're here in October 1st. I was about to say September. October 1st. She's at the exact same offer she has had since the middle of July. You know, that's not negotiating. That's my way of the highway. Well, guess what? You're on the highway, Anna. Um, all, all the way up. Someone urgent needs to be done. This is a national emergency. Ray Sharon, how do you do the incurable big raises? Antonia Perez, the people's employed the government for help. The people are following the purple power brick road and they're fighting to win. Out with the old and in with the new. Purple slips are coming. I love that. Uh, PPP to the people. Hello, LA. Hello back to you, Antonia. I love your comments. Brett Hillenbrand, LA, just wake me up with the check is in the mail. Um, Kathy Knight, we need and want our money now. Simone Johnson, I have worked many years and I'm on POA. My husband, my my is a my business is done. Never have I made eight hundred dollars a month. I can't pay my mortgage. I can't pay my medical bills. I can barely pay my card note. Lights, water, and gas, and food. The government has no compassion for all the people. I will not be dependent on the government ever again. Um, I'm sad to hear that, but in the same context. If you have a business that's done because of the pandemic, which I really don't know what that particularly means, go get an EIDL loan. If you own a business and it's been hit by the pandemic, you qualify for an EIDL loan. EIDL loan is not closed out because of the fall failure of the Temple Doom. It's still live. And the EIDL loan could give you hundreds of thousands of dollars. Well, at the moment, it's up to $150,000 cap because of what Vita Carranza has done. But it can give you an incredible amount of money. And this money would not have any repayment uh, during the first year, so you would have no principal and interest due for hundred for over a year. It could save your business. Um, I have saved thousands and thousands and thousands of businesses on this channel because of the EID alone, and because of the saving of those businesses, I also save the families and the employees' families and the employees' children's families, and they've told me that. Um, Liquidity saves people in times of needs. And I know a lot of people just want grants, but ultimately loans carry you over. And we all know that we're not going to be in this situation forever. And these loans are absolutely categorically incredible to save you to get you to the finish line. Dottie, so if you've not applied, go to sba.gov and go to the private, uh, which is in the description, in the pinned comment to this video if you need help with the SBA EID loan application. Dottie Bautista, this is sad the United States of America has to live this way. It is very sad. Coming up next is a continuation of yesterday's special, which is Mnuchin versus Pelosi. Um, it's usually in the, it was in the rent slot. It comes back in the rent slot. And there's big developments all across the board. Some of you really want to know all the nuances of what's going on. So that will be a lot in there. So tune 
in for that video coming up next. As always, go to the Finance Channel, subscribe. You can see, see someone who's really trying to get you money. We understand situations like this that people just need money. We don't care what it's called or where it's coming from. We just want the money. Want the money. And that's what I'm trying to do. Um, and that's what I'll continue to do. Also, like this video because I sp aspire to give you informed information and to get you going forward not to just read news reports and tell you how the world is falling apart coming up next is pelosi versus mnuchin as always stay informed stay smiling stay in my life.